Hello, praise the Lord. Welcome to the transformative world of daily dose of God's word with Pastor Cherry Sean. Get ready to embark on a journey where the power of God's word meets your life challenges. In this podcast, Pastor Cherry will delve into a profound teaching of faith, motivation, and practical application of biblical wisdom. Be inspired as you listen. Hey, praise the Lord, everybody! I welcome you one more time to a daily dose of God's word this morning. I trust and I believe that you are doing amazing. This morning I would like to take you to the book of Acts chapter 2 verses 42, 43 and 44 and 45. All the believers devoted themselves to the apostles' teachings and to fellowship and to sharing in meals and to prayer. A deep sense of awe came over all of them and the apostles performed many miraculous signs and wonders. And all the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had. They sold their property and possessions and shared the money with those in need. You know, in the book of Acts, we read and we understand that the first disciples were baptized in the Holy Spirit. And they were continually devoting themselves to the apostles' teachings and to the fellowship and to the breaking of bread as we read. The Greek word used for fellowship is called koinonia. This appears here for the very first time in the Bible and then it is used 18 times throughout the New Testament. What is this word? You know, this can also be translated as partnership. It is a supernatural grace that causes Christians to love one another deeply. I would want you to know you cannot love a person without the love of God in you. You cannot unite to a person without the Holy Spirit in you. You know, He is the glue for our lives. This supernatural grace made the disciples of the early church to love one another deeply. It was not possible before Pentecost because it is a manifestation of the indwelling Holy Spirit. You know, just as the Spirit's dynamis power enables us to heal the sick and work miracles, is koinonia knits our hearts and it binds us together. After the outpouring of the Spirit in Acts 2, koinonia caused the early disciples to share their positions unselfishly and to share their meals very often. Many people decided to become Christians when they witnessed this loving community. Tell me where is that kind of a community found at this point of time? You know the church has become so selfish that you know the people in the church have become so selfish that people never would want to be a part of a community that you know God really wants to be rising gloriously in love. Koinonia was an essential ingredient in the New Testament church. It is what connected Paul, Timothy, Luke, Titus and Priscilla and Aquila as a team. It is what held the early Christians together in the face of persecution and caused them to lay down their lives for one another. I think this is a high time for the church to return to Koinonia which means to love in unity, to partner in unity, you know, but you can't download it or fake it. You know, we will have to scrap all the artificial love that we have, even driven programs that we have if we want to have this relational Christianity that we see in the book of Facts. If we have to invite the Holy Spirit to do his work of connecting us with our brothers and sisters, we need a supernatural glue which is what binds us together. This morning, if you are looking for unity in your lives, in your families, in your churches, one thing that I would want you to know, this unity cannot happen without the help of the Holy Spirit because Holy Spirit is our uniter. As long as Holy Spirit is with us, He keeps uniting us. You know, the moment we stop taking His assistance, you know, that is where divisions are caused. You know, that is where disharmony begins. And I would want you to know you need the Holy Spirit. You need to revel the Holy Spirit. You need to really honor the help of the Holy Spirit in your life so that He can unite everything that is divided. May God bless you. I will see you tomorrow. As we conclude another empowering episode of Daily Dose of God's Word with Pastor Cherry Sean, remember that your journey towards a transformed life has just begun. To know more about us, check out our social media handles. Thank you.